Boom, coming in real hot, Chidge. How we do it, brother? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, dude, All that's right. incredible. All right, uh, let's make this quick, we'll make this tight, and we'll keep it clean. Sean Casey, you are now the hitting coach for the pinstripes, the New York Yankees. Yeah. I, I, I cried. I've already cried to you today, but <laughs> I, I'm going to cry at some point during this. Just give me your no. initial impression, man. I love you. You I'm know so what, man? I mean... I you know, I'm 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 very 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 excited. Uh, you know, Boone is one of my dear friends. Have so much respect for the Yankee organization. Uh, you know, Brian Cashman. You know, Hank Steinbrenner. You know, all those guys. You know, Randy Levine. All, everybody. Tim Naring. Just guys that I do know. And you know, uh, just the fact that I have the opportunity to get in the same room with guys like Aaron Judge and Josh Donaldson and Anthony Rizzo and DJ LeMayhew and, you know, just some uh, Anthony Volpe and just, you know, great, all, all great players in, in and up and down that lineup. Um, you know, it just was, it was a perfect storm for me for, uh, you know, um, for really taking a shot and, you know, getting, getting back in the dugout. And uh, I'm really fired up, man. I'm really fired up and uh, I'm really excited and I'm, and uh, I, I'm excited. Uh, you know, Yankee nation's real. As soon as this thing <laughs> got posted out there, man, it's pretty incredible. So I'm excited to connect with the, uh, with the Yankee fans. Um, but more importantly, I'm really excited to connect with those guys in that, in that clubhouse and, uh, and, and, and have an impact. Yeah. And wait, stay back, go backwards. You talking about, you're going to be in a dugout with Aaron Boone again. You've told me like, yeah, you guys cried when he when he got traded yeah. when you were at the Reds, and now you're going to be with one of your best friends in the game, in the yeah. pinstripes in New York. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, I was just talking to Danny Graves because Gravy's going in the Reds Hall of Fame this weekend, and him and Bronson Arroyo, and I was really excited to go there. You know, I'm in the Reds Hall of Fame. You know, to kind of you know, it's kind of a unique thing we do every two years, and you know, Gravy was such a big deal. So I just called him and we was joking around because you know those teams, you know the the teams that I have on the wall, the '99 Reds, all those guys like. You know, Booney was on that team and, you know, we developed a big friendship o over these years and, you know, Booney's just one of those guys, like, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, this, this opportunity was big for me and a big part of it was because of, because of Aaron Boone. And I just respect him as the Yankees manager, respect him as a friend. I respect him as a baseball guy. I mean, I played for his dad. I played with his brother, you know, the, the, just the Boone family. They're just wonderful people. And, and, you know, when, when Booney called me, man, you know, I was an opportunity where I really had to, you know, think about it at first. I have two girls that are that are home and two sons that are in college. And listen, this since this last year, there's been so many things going on. My dad had two open heart surgeries. You know, my fiance Sarah just got done with her cancer treatment. She had breast cancer, so you know, just got done with her 20th radiation. You know, the the months of chemo and all that craziness and the surgery. So, you know. I think if any other, if those factors were still in play, it would have been tough, tough to do. But the fact that, you know, they're not and, and, and she's cancer free and my dad's feeling great and my kids were on board. It just, it just works, man. It really works. And I'm, it make, just makes me that much more excited for it being, uh, you know, these next couple months um, and being with the Yankees chance to win a ring too. I mean, I think they have the, the team to win to win another ring, a championship. I mean, just so many, so many of the stars aligned for me to say, I got to do this. This is an incredible opportunity, and I'm just grateful that uh, they reached out to me. Oh man, I, I mean, <laughs> ah, here I go again. I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting choked up a little because I love yeah. you. We've been together for so many years working, and folks, <laughs> what did I, we we talked about this earlier today? It's like Sean, man. Whenever you were at MLB Network, I'm like, dude, talk hitting. I've never hear, heard anybody talk hitting like you can. I'm like, that's that's your bread and butter. You know it better than anybody in the world, and you have learned from some of the greatest, greatest coaches in the world. So, like, are there little pieces of guys like the Charlie Manuels and 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 guys that you've worked with over the years that you're going to take take with you to this job? Yeah, there's a lot of guys, man. There's a lot of guys, but I, I, you know what? If anyone knows me, I'm a, I'm obsessed with hitting. I've been obsessed with hitting since I was probably 12 years old. You know, I mean, I, that's all I think about. <laughs> I'm still in. You know, my mom used to joke around and get in my stance during church, and she'd be like, stop it. And then I'd be in the kitchen with a butter knife, which I still am. And my daughter, Jillian's like, are you serious, Dad? I'm like, yeah, but you got to work the hands, you know. So, you know, and I'm big on the mental side of the game, too, man. At this level, you know, these these guys are the Yankees, man. They're big league players. And Aaron Judge and on the way down are, 
some of the best players in baseball. You know, you're talking about, you know, Donaldson, and you're talking about MVPs here, LeMayhew and Rizzo, and these are big names, and, you know, Aaron Judge doing what he's doing. So, listen, I'm not going to come in here and all of a sudden, you know, be, uh, you know, change these guys, but I want to be in here and, and make sure that I'm seeing what I'm seeing and, and be of any support to make sure that, you know, we're getting the most out of our lineup and we're, we're going up and down that lineup to make sure that we're one of the best teams in the second half, and, uh, and, 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 we'll, and, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that challenge. What's your phone been doing for the past day? <laughs> my God, never. I didn't realize how big the Yankee machine is until my phone, until uh, news started to break and my phone's like, ping, 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 ping. I was at the lunch with my dad. I took my dad out to lunch. We were having a nice lunch and I, I had to turn my phone off because I was like, I really wanted to sit with my dad and enjoy this. You know, my dad's, my parents are both New Yorkers. My whole family's from New York. They're from Long Island. So a lot of, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of a family and friends that are big Yankee fans. And, yeah. you know, so I think people are really excited. But I know my parents are excited and uh it was kind of cool to share my share the moment with my dad you know that father-son moment um of you know the yankees and and and, and new york and and all that stuff so it was pretty yeah. cool but i had to turn my phone off because i had 300 some messages like that you know, so, you yeah. know i was thinking if, if i you get announced to any other team they're like you know your mom and your dad and your brother text you and they go hey congrats well i don't have a brother my sister <laughs> my sister's dad would say hey congratulations you know the yeah. yankees it's like bing bing so Dude. it's pretty cool, man. And that, and that, and that's part of the lore of this whole thing is that like, I'm really excited to be a, put on the pinstripes and be a part of this organization. Yeah. Like probably the most storied organization in sports and, and uh, you know, the world championships and you know, all of it, it's, it, it's exciting as a player for 12 years, you know, going into Yankee stadium from afar, you knew that like, man, these, this is the real deal right here. These fans, they, they bleed the pinstripes and they love this team, you know, as you know, Chinch, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to experience that. I really am. Yeah. Well, you're talking about the history, dude. You got a number right there behind you, your number, your whole career. I don't think you can wear that number in the Bronx, right? Number 21 <laughs> belongs dude. to a certain dude, which is full circle, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Go with it. Well, you know, it's so funny because, uh, you know, Booney was like, what number do you wear? You know, the 21 pops into my head right away because that's what I wore in Cincy, but, or a lot, most of my career. And then I said, no freaking way should anyone wear 21 in the Bronx. You talk about Paul O'Neill was an idol of mine growing up. And, you know, when I, when I went to the Reds and he had been traded and I took 21, I knew that that was Paul O'Neill's number. They won a championship in 90 with the Reds. So I knew what he meant to that city. He's from Cincinnati. But when he went to New York, dude, cool. like those are the, you know, they call them, people call them the Paul O'Neill years. Like that 21 number, dude, in New York, you know, that means everything. And like I said, no chance would I ever even think so about wearing 21. It's, it's just funny how, you know, it's uh, funny how things come full circle. Full circle, so man. <laughs> Listen, dude, I, I, I don't, I don't want to like, we don't even have to, I, my phone's blown up and I'm just your podcast guy. <laughs> like that's how big this is, dude. Yeah. And I, I got to tell you, man, you're one of my best friends in the world. And I am, <laughs> I am so proud of you. I'm yeah, so thanks, proud dude. of you. Appreciate so, it, James, man. Listen, man, Thank get you. after it. And by the way, I will be eating a lot of, um, hopefully soon, because it's only about 35 minutes away from me. I would like the lobster claws. <laughs> I would like some of that little filet mignon. I'll dude, are you going to get in the Legends store? Club? Those are those are big money seats, dude. I can't even afford those things. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought you got the hook. I bet you've had plenty of... I've had calls from people like, hey, you know, my niece is coming to uh, New York and, uh, did, uh, in September. Do you think your Sean could get her tickets? And I'm like, What? I don't even know you, bro. Have you gotten those requests yet? Oh, uh, dude. Well, you know, it's funny. I think nowadays the players pay for the tickets. So I'm like, hey, listen, uh, you want some tickets? Dubhub.com and, uh, and Yankees.com. Go there in the MLB ballpark app. I think you need to call them first. There you go. There you go. Well, hey, man, I, like I said, you're one of my best friends in the world. And there is, folks, there is nobody, there's nobody more de deserving of this. You were one of the yeah. greatest baseball minds but you're also one of the greatest people I've ever met. And I, I'm telling you, these guys are damn lucky to have you. So, yeah. Well, thanks, Chinch. And I'm excited, man. I'm excited to get in that clubhouse, you know, come on Colorado on Friday and just uh, connect with these guys, get to know them, get to know them, make some tick, and, you know, uh, let's get it. Let's do it.